Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Tam and in today's video I'm going to be sharing 50 facts about me in celebration of 500 subscribers. I'm so so happy. I can't I can't even tell you like this just makes me so happy and I just thought that this would be a fun video to celebrate this and yeah I just thought that my old facts about me video is really really old it's about three years old so obviously some things have changed since then like I've grown and yeah so without further ado let's just get started I'm 19 born in November that makes me a Scorpio I'm 5'2 which is 157 centimeters I'm a size 4 in shoe size and I've been a size 4 since I was 12. My eye colour is something I get asked about a lot and honestly they're dark hazel. I'm Eurasian. I have two earrings and a belly piercing and I want to get two more. I also have a tattoo that I got when I was 17 and it's of a Scorpio constellation. It's on my right ankle. I am an only child. I was raised a Catholic but my mom and I both started to integrate Buddhism into our home so yeah. I was born and raised in Zimbabwe this year my family just migrated to Cape Town. I have only ever had one dog and I still have her and her name is Sophie and she is a black dachshund. I'm a qualified ballet and tap dancer, however I stopped dancing when I left to university. I also tapped into other genres such as hip hop and contemporary in my last two years of high school and Wow, I highly, highly miss dancing still. I have had a very open relationship with my parents. I have to say that I've never been afraid to speak to them about anything. I think that's just because I was an only child and I didn't really have siblings to talk to. But yeah, I have a very open relationship with my parents, especially my mom. I have been very fortunate enough to travel most of Europe and America from my childhood up until my teen years, so I'm very lucky to have all that travel experience under my belt still at this age. I think that's something that I'm so grateful for and I have to thank my parents for doing that for me. I take really quick showers. I think the maximum shower time that I could possibly take is about 10 to 15 minutes and that's on a like hair washing day but I generally take like five minute showers. <laughs> so my favorite color is white and that has been like a standard since I was 15. My favorite flower are peonies and I, I just love them. They're so beautiful, honestly. Chocolate is the only sweet thing that I like. I'm not a big fan of other sweets and stuff. Like it's the only sweet thing that I actually enjoy. So I never used to like coffee and being at uni has changed that completely for me. So I now can't go a day without having coffee in the morning. So... I like very simple basic foods, however I do like hot spicy foods as well. I think that's sort of my palate range. Summer is my favourite season. I prefer simple makeup over like this big glamorous makeup. I just find that it suits me better like I'm not saying that glam doesn't suit me but I just feel a little bit more comfortable in natural makeup. I prefer series over movies. I'm not really a movie kind of girl. It takes a lot for me to like really enjoy a movie so I do prefer series over movies. 
And my favorite genre of series is science fiction. So series like Dark, Stranger Things, etc. Those are my kind of series that I like to watch. My favorite genre of music is hip hop, R&B, and deep house. I smoke shisha. My favorite social media platforms are YouTube and Pinterest. My favorite wild animal is a wolf. My favorite fabric is silk, however, <laughs> it's so expensive. So I do opt for like satin and I think satin just falls really nicely um, in clothing pieces and yeah. My favorite cuisine is Italian. I really hate winter. I just hate the layering. I just feel so big and bulky and like an oompa loompa, like trying to keep warm. I just, mm -mm, it's not for me. I really hate fast food. Like, never liked it. Don't think I ever will. Yeah, just to me, it really just tastes disgusting. I really hate the gym. Ever since I stopped dancing, I wanted to go to the gym and I just I just can't find that same energy and that same vibe that I used to get from dancing, so I just really hate the gym. In terms of food, I hate caramel, toffee, Doritos, and cream cheese. I find that they stink and I just hate the smell. So please don't eat those things around me. <laughs> I also really hate mess and clutter. If you know me or have lived with me for like a little while, you'll know that I am a neat freak. I like things clean. I just actually can't function if things aren't clean and are in a mess. Like I can't be productive if things are just not clean, so. I really don't like it when people chew or drink and slurp and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's an actual thing. It's called misophonia. Please go look it up and please respect the people that have it because it is so irritating. Like I can't stand myself when I eat sometimes. So I make the conscious effort of eating very quietly and yeah, I just, I hate it so much. <laughs> I really don't like reptiles. I really did not enjoy maths and science at school, but I wasn't bad at it, but I just tried to make myself bad at it so I wouldn't have to do like <laughs> the full like course of it, if that makes sense. I did call for my sciences and my maths, even though my teachers told me, no, you're capable. I was like, no, I don't want to. I just really hated it, so. I... <laughs> hate camping. I don't see the point of me going and sleeping on the ground and feeling uncomfortable and just being out in the woods or the bush. No, I'm a city girl. <laughs> so I'm currently in university in my second year studying at Stellenbosch Academy of Design and Photography and I'm studying multimedia design. I am in a relationship of like two years now with Ali and we're doing long distance and I am really happy in our relationship. Wouldn't change anything for the world other than the distance. It is hard, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Like we really suit each other and I can't picture my life without him. I also apparently walk very fast and I noticed that I think it's just me and my family that just walk extremely fast like we aren't slow walkers like we're very fast paced kind of people so yeah I tend to walk really fast. I had wanted to start my YouTube channel since I was 15 and I made my first video, which was a makeup video, and I told no one about it, and I put it on YouTube, 
and I kept it up for like a month and then I deleted it and then as you guys know I came back in like 2017 that failed again and now I'm back I am definitely more of a morning person than a night person but I'm not saying that I, I genuinely love the morning and I love waking up and I feel like amazing, no, but I do like the morning more for some reason. I just feel like starting my day off a little bit early, that I have that time to myself and everything, I just feel a little bit more relaxed in the morning whereas at night I just I'm just so tired from the day that I just want to go to bed so I used to be a little bit more introverted I think that I started getting a little bit more extroverted that I now just really want to be around people especially my friends like I really miss my friends during this lockdown and everything so it kind of sucks but but with that being said, I am also a person that needs their alone time. Just being an only child, I was always, I always had my own space and my own time to just like be myself and just relax and like escape. So I can't just be around people constantly. I do need some time to just like recharge and relax. I am cultivating an apple ecosystem. And I wear more neutral colors than very vibrant colors. I am trying to just integrate more of like pastels. I have a few bold statement pieces and yeah. So that is the entire video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Again, I just want to say thank you for 500 subscribers. I'm so, so happy. And yeah, I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.